In brief and without too many details, back on May 9th people were expecting something in the style of a new playtest or even early access dark and darker outside of Steam. Expectations were based on the theory, based on the messages of Grayson, a member of the Iron Mace team, who is the administrator of the official Discord server and whose encrypted messages have been confirmed more than once. This time, however, Grayson said back in May that he didn't mean the 9th of the month, but people still, by implication, decided to postpone the expectations to June 9th, and that day has arrived. I want to emphasize that this video isn't about whether the game will be released today or on the 20th. It's about something completely different. In the official Discord, especially in the English chat, something unthinkable is going on. Many people have started to directly insult the developers, accusing them of cowardice, not caring about the fans, and the like. Many started writing that they would now start specifically buying Nexon games if the game didn't come out right away. This has clearly crossed the line of harmless jokes. I'm really looking forward to this game myself. Considering I'm not just playing it, I'm making content on it, meaning I've put in real work for the benefit of other players as well. I'm grateful to the developers of Dark and Darker anyway, even if the game doesn't come out or comes out later. Yes, the wait is quite harrowing and I can't remember the last time I waited so eagerly for something. However, the developers absolutely do not deserve such an insult to them. They gave us many unique moments that we will remember for a lifetime. They gave it to us for free, none of us paid a penny for the game. The only thing is that the developers were selling fan paraphernalia with coffee to raise at least some money to support them and people were consciously giving them money themselves. It was stupid to expect anything in return, plus I'm sure the vast majority of those who wrote them nasty things didn't buy anything or support them in any way. Even if Dark and Darker doesn't come out, the coffee mug will stay forever and it's done quite well. In any case, sooner or later, there will be another similar game, made in quality no worse. Yes, at the moment all the alternative similar games are actually of much lower quality than Dark and Darker, but I'm sure, again given the empty niche, that it won't be empty for long. While of course it can be an agonizing wait every day for fans, it's often the most worthy projects that have to wait a long time. Iron Mace, as well as all the others do it also for the money, but unlike many other games, here the hope lingers, due to the guarantees of no pay to win in the game and many other things that would discourage players. All in all, the developers of Dark and Darker, in my opinion deserve credit for being something of a trailblazer. Yes, obviously a dark history with Nexon, but I'm sure Nexon wouldn't have been able to make a game like this even close at the time. Perhaps, learn from other people's experiences, Nexon will actually try to create something worthy rather than a pay-to-win donation dump. Time will tell. I'm grateful to Iron Mace for the interesting hours they've given many people around the world and for igniting hope in the hearts of millions. Yes, Iron Mace is not flawlessly communicating with the player community because of litigation with Nexon and yes, the last, fifth playtest was frankly problematic, glitchy. However, this is not a case where a little bit of tar can spoil a barrel of honey. At least, in my opinion. So, until we've paid for a particular game, I wouldn't have the tongue to say such mean and unfair things about the developers, who gave us such a great game for free, though not for long, though not unselfishly, but still, they are fighting right now with a huge, multi-billion dollar corporation. In my opinion, insults and community pressure can lead developers to emotional decisions that increase the risks that we may end up playing the sixth playtest or early access for a month and really lose dark and darker forever. So, as hard as it is, I'm all for developers doing things the smart way and not falling for the hysterical part of the crowd that wants easy fun right here and now, with absolutely no thought for the long term. In fact, part of the fan base sneakily betrayed Iron Mace at the worst possible moment at a time when developers so need support and understanding. Would you betray Iron Mace by sneakily stabbing you in the back with provocative messages or not?